Welcome to MyTrack Pro. MyTrack Pro is a production control software package to manage your shop. MyTrack Pro is uses Windows and all its nice features for a rich GUI interface. Currently the system uses a ribbon bar where you have all your menu items easily accessible for all the different modules from maintenance where you maintain all your standards, your parties, your customers, your suppliers, your departments, etc. MyTrack Pro is written to make it easy to manufacture jobs and produce jobs to the best of your ability. Now, in MyTrack, everything is based on an item. So we have an item master. On the left hand side, you see a quick search screen where you could search through any items in your system. As you're searching the items you'll see the details will show up on the right hand side of your screen. This is where you could adjust anything you require. Every item has inventory. You could have multiple inventory locations. Each inventory location is managed separately so you could actually have a warehousing. All the detailed transactions are listed. You can have substitutable parts. You can have prices for both purchased items and items that you resell to customers. MyTrack is fully dependent on the items and so your item master is a key because when you do quotes, when you do orders, when you do oper um, invoicing, purchasing, everything's based on an item. Now, the first step in manufacturing is re getting a request for quote, an RFQ. This is the RFQ screen, where on the left hand side you see the details of your RFQs that you have in draft mode. You could actually submit RFQs, close them, have statuses, you could approve these RFQs, and you get the associated reports. Now, once you create an RFQ, you have all the line items required for the RFQ and you could actually print letters which or email those letters out which go to your customers. Now in MyTrack Pro we allow you to actually create a RFQ first prior to creating your detailed quote if you desire and the reason we do that it gives you the ability to create an RFQ log where you could find out by estimator all the RFQs that are requested by your customers that are due on specific dates, the open ones, all the RFQs you have to follow up and different things. Now each line item on the RFQ contains a part and contains quantities and pricing for multiple breakouts. In this situation you would actually be able to have multiple prices per product. Now you could actually change the price type and you could change it to a base price or a custom price or a customer price. You could have default prices in case you have a catalog of parts and you could actually come into the system, select your pricing, uh, select your part. The system would bring over the pricing that's appropriate for that customer or based on a standard price or you could hit custom price and type any value you want in the system. So once you close it, you have all your different line items. You could then go to the system and print out a quote letter in our easy to modify printing system. The printing system is very advanced and lets you modify reports and you could send them out through email, you could output them to Excel. You could also have reports that are assigned to specific users. So we have specific user defined reports at the user security level. But you could also copy reports. In this example we have two reports. These could be copied and you could have multiple revisions of reports of reports specific for different needs. And this is throughout the entire MyTrack Pro product. And when you hit select you would actually get a preview of the report that would go to your customer. Now this is a quote letter. You could put your logo on it and you could do other things like that. So once you have your request for quote in the system, you could actually go to the request for quote report. 
On the left hand side you have all your different filter conditions. On your right hand side you have your results and you could change the results and I just want to look at customer range A. I hit search and the system will display RFQs for just customer A. Their status, who's, who it is assigned to, who, who's approving those quotes. Now the nice thing you could do here is you could have predefined criteria. If you have specific criteria that for a specific estimate or a catalog or a specific date range and you continually use the same report, you could actually adjust the predefined criteria so you don't have to retype that information in. Lastly, we have our quoting section. This is the quote, this is the detail quote. You, there's a difference between a detailed quote and a quote letter. A quote letter is what goes to your customer. It doesn't have all the details of all your steps, all your operations, the individual material costs. But the detailed quote, you actually have all that information. Now, what we have is an item master. That item master enables you to create a quote for any item in your item master you could actually have multiple quotes for every item in your system. That lets you requote, lets you go back and compare quotes, and lets you actually have a quote that maybe goes through one process and another quote that you're going to outsource because of overflow and to a outsource vendor. So you could actually have multiple quotes in the system for every item in your item master and those item masters could be either purchased items or detail quotes. So in this example we have an assembly where you have some different bill of material and operations. You could ex collapse or expand all the items and we handle uh, quotes with 10,000, 20,000 items. It's not a problem. And if you click on the operations you would see your operation screen. The operation list is all user defined. You, in this operation list, you would define your number of employees, your operation rates, your default formulas. So in this example, we have three operations. You could add more, and you could enter your setup time in minutes, or in hours, or in any other way you desire based on the formula you've selected. And those formulas are user defined. And you could have a forming formula, set up minutes. You could actually put in all your different rates, employee rates, shop rates. You could have different rates for the runtime and setup time. The system handles unintended operations and a multitude of other variables to make your quote as consistent and accurate as possible. Lastly, I will show you the bill of material. When you go to the bill of material, you'll see all your details of all your pricing, what the item is, the quantity required. You can put comments in the system. You could have different calculation types, lot price, piece price, calculate. Now one thing about the bill of materials, to create an assembly, you could actually create an assembly of multiple items. The nice thing there is you could have multiple detail quotes all those detailed quotes could be rolled up into a single assembly and that's what I've done here in the system that we have two quotes that are included in the entire assembly now it's easy to add another item to the quote you just type in the search value and you could select powder coating or programming charge you just double click and the system adds those values you could have some default pricing let's say it's a forty five dollar charge you can put markups in when I hit okay, I'm gonna do it as a calculate price hit save hit close and you will see your pricing now has been adjusted to handle that new item and component you just put in well thank you for watching our MyTrack Pro quoting demonstration if you have any other questions please let us know at http www.mie-solutions.com. Thank you.